Hi, Cancers. This is your February 2021 forecast. This is for a Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising. If you don't know your rising sign, I encourage you to go to my uh, description box and you can figure out how to find that below. So let's see here. <clears throat> Cancer. We're going to look at the energy of you entering the month. Cancer's energy entering the month, please. Work, career, and school for Cancer. What's that going to be like for the month of February 2021? Oops, we're getting kind of slippery. Uh, February 2021, love for Cancer. What is the relationship family friend advice or family friend prediction for Cancer in February 2021? And what is the energy that you'll be leaving the month of February 2021. Oh, I think I got a card that's backwards. Hmm. Five, uh, five of Cups was flippy floppy. Let's hope that's just an accident, not a sign. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the energy that you're coming into this month is the Nine of Pentacles the energy at work, the career, uh, work, school, education areas, the two of cups. Love is the ace of wands. Uh, family and friends is the ace of pentacles. And then leaving the month, we have the three of swords. That's interesting. We'll have to take a look at that. So what am I seeing here? Hmm. Well, <laughs> you're kind of in a really great spot here, honestly. Uh, for those of you that might be investing your money, you might be doing quite well. Maybe you guys have invested wisely because we have this nine of, of pentacles. You're kind of resting in a spot where you're pretty pretty darn comfortable. You put a lot of work in prior to this, and this is kind of like this nice spot of resting before you know the next big thing comes along. So you look pretty pretty re pretty relaxed. For some of you. <laughs> You know, maybe maybe you're looking towards or planning a retirement recently. That could be one of the things we're seeing here. Just because I usually see this nine of pentacles as that phase right before retirement happens. Um, you're kind of like, you know, counting counting your pennies and seeing what it is you can live off of and that sort of thing. Uh, but this is just anybody that could be kind of living off of their savings currently uh, in any way. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that context. But um, interesting though, uh, okay, so the sun is going through your eighth house and Mars is in your 11th house. That's kind of like the two prominent things I was looking at as well. So um, it does look like you're going to be kind of focusing more on going towards your goals. I think you're going to be a little bit more proactive about that this month. Um, I also think that uh, there might be a focus on um, other kind of other affairs happening when it comes to other people's money and stuff like that. And I think maybe that's what we're seeing here, actually. You could be given a gift next month, actually. Um, because if you have the sun going through your really eighth house, then you probably have Venus and Jupiter there as well. So uh, it's possible that you could be getting some nice gift from somebody. You could be getting some sort of blessing from someone, some kind of uh, and it's material. So this isn't going to be something that's like a compliment. This is going to be a, a, a material thing. And if it's not right away, something that's material that's actually falling into your lap or being given to you, it's something that will later develop into that. That's, that's sort of what I'm seeing. Um, at work, uh, for work, school, and career, it's very positive. We have the two of cups. You might even find somebody there that you really, really like. <laughs> you might find someone that you're really interested within your friends group, um, a romantic interest that, that you could be running into while at work or at school or, you know, something, something along those lines within those daily activities that you do. It, it looks very nice, to be honest. Like, this looks like somebody that you'll either be a friend to or someone that you'll be like a romantic, romantic partner to, perhaps. Can we clarify? Clarify the two of cups. Mm, six of pentacles. So yeah, you might be working with someone or someone might give you some sort of 
uh, sweetness at work. This person could buy you coffee. They could uh, send you, give you a gift. They could send you a nice little email or something. I'm, I'm really sensing this is separate from this here because I feel like this is somebody who might be talking you up, somebody who might be flattering you, giving you gifts. Um, because when I see the Six of Pentacles, I'm thinking this is somebody that wants something from you. They're giving you something because they want something back. <laughs> Sometimes that's that's the way you can see that. So um, and that does kind of fall into to the eighth house matters when Venus is going through there. It can show uh, maybe a focus on, you know, physical, the physical sexual aspect of romance. <laughs> so this could be somebody that you're meeting at work like that. Um, it looks pretty darn good to me, though. Um, let's look at love and relationships, though, because I'm curious about this ace of, of, of wands. I mean, this is a really great card <laughs> um, if you're interested in some kind of... Um, physical encounter with another person we'll just say and it's uh it's it's an opportunity that you have to that you have to take when it's offered to you so it, it looks like somebody is going to either give you a pretty heavy hint or a pretty heavy suggestion at something and you're going to want it <laughs> and you're going to but but something is telling me you're not going to grab it right away because it's right here you know it's not it's not fully in action because it's still in the thought or conceptualized it hasn't it hasn't materialized yet. It's in the conception phase here. So let me see if I can get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. Huh, Ace of Swords. Okay. <laughs> big, big beginnings for you, Cancer. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you guys are going to be talking with somebody. You're going to be probably planning something with somebody or um, you could be dropping little hints with people. But whatever it is, there is an intensity to it. This is going to be kind of a heavy vibe, a <laughs> heavy feeling that goes along with this. And I wouldn't say it's romantic at first, but it is a there is a lot of attraction there. I really think that uh, it's going to be a great month. <clears throat> so um, <laughs> let's look at family and friends. Um, family and friends already looking pretty darn good. We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody giving you an actual physical gift. And I really don't think it's anything other than a physical gift. So this is a present. This is money. Um, I, you know, because the eighth house is involved, it, it could be, um, like a physical, a physical gift. So if maybe that like, like a physical action, like a hug, or something that means a lot to you, whatever it is. I think that it, the fact that it's showing up in the month like this, it's going to be something that really matters to you. So even if it sounds really lame, like, oh, it's a hug, what? Like, this is going to be important for you if that's what that is. But whatever it is, it's going to be a noticeable gift because it's spanning four weeks. So this is the most important thing um, in this area out of this, the whole month. So you could be getting some money. <laughs> um, can we clarify the ace of... Uh, pentacles, please. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Page of Cups. So it does look like, honestly, it's interesting because we do have the Ten of Swords. Uh, I'm wondering if some of you, not all of you, and this isn't going to be a prediction for any sort of horrible thing. Um, for some of you, maybe there was an ending for something and that as a result, you're now getting money. So this could be uh, a lawsuit that ends and maybe you're getting money or someone is going to send you a message telling you that you're getting some kind of money from some kind of thing that has been finished. This could be somebody that was, this could be something that was conquered or vanquished or some negative thing that ended. And as a result, you're kind of getting a transformation of of fortune as a result i had to describe this um inheritance is one way to see this but like i said i'm not predicting a death or anything like that um i'm seeing that you know if if you are expecting an inheritance this will be the month that you get it if you're expecting um the end of a, a civil suit you're going to get your money that way too uh, and, and, and it's in friends and family and relationships. So I think that, you know, this could be something that you're being supported by your family on or you're kind of following closely something that's happening to another family member that might be involving, um, you know, like getting money from other people. But regardless, I do see that you're going to be getting some kind of money in here. Now, for some of you where this doesn't actually apply and there's like no 
there's no, uh, you know, civil case or anything like that. This could be saying that someone might apologize to you because <laughs> um, uh, they might apologize to you with a gift because this kind of, when I see the page here, I'm wondering if somebody's going to kind of come to you cap in hand and say like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, because especially with this here, um, they may have done something that really riled you up or bothered you and uh, they may be coming back saying, listen, I'm sorry, here's the gift, let's make peace um, and things will be better again, you know. So that's what I'm seeing for family and friends. Now, I'm curious about this three of swords. Why are you in this mood leaving? <laughs> Why are you leaving the month of February in this mood? Can we clarify the three of swords, please? Okay, we've got a man. One moment. Let me. We've got the emperor, not the emperor, the um, <sighs> king of wands. So the king of wands is an Aries. I don't know if this is relevant to everyone. Just take what resonates. But um, let's see here. Clarify the three of swords. Um, ten, of pen of, ten of cups. This is the family, the home, or something like that. Uh, uh, you know, someone might be leaving. This is just a month, though, so this could be someone returning home from where they came. Or, uh, you know, this could be somebody leaving work or some some aspect of, of somebody that is going to be leaving that you might be missing. But I don't sense that it's something that's like a death. Like I said, I have to keep I have to keep letting you guys know. It's not a death I'm seeing. I'm not seeing a death. Um, I'm seeing that somebody who might have to leave, even though there's like reluctance, like you don't want to see this person go because we have the Three of Swords. So there's a feeling of loss or missing missing somebody um and that might be might be the issue i was shuffling these but i was talking hang on <laughs> i wanted to clarify the three of swords clarify the three of swords someone will try to make you do something against your will um i'm not seeing like any sort of violent force here but what i am thinking this could be is that somebody is being forced to leave um and they don't want to or forced to do something and they don't want to this could be a cancellation of a trip this could be a cancellation of something because someone else is requiring the the, the things something from you or you know something could just be canceled so you could be kind of bummed out here this could have to do with something over here i'm trying to think if that's what i'm seeing we do have two tens here so i am seeing an ending something might be ending this month um, but I, because it's these tens, these tens, I don't feel are very shocking. They, um, in fact, because tens are, are slow moving from one through 10. So whatever this is, you know, it's going to be ending. So don't feel like it's going to be something that comes out of the blue. So, um, it's going to be like just a, an understanding, like a regular conclusion of what you thought would happen. Somebody could be leaving your life. Um, if, if, possibly temporarily but um that's that's just something that i'm seeing here so you're going to be kind of leaving this month feeling a little bit bummed um about you know someone that could potentially be heading out this could be a co-worker that's leaving your job something like that um so we'll have to see you'll have to see what uh, goes on this month and let me know what what happens but um let's get some advice for you cancer advice for Advice for Cancer for February 2021. February 2021, Advice for Cancer. Okay. It's telling you that you need to focus on your, um, your stability right now. If you have any projects that you are doing, just focus on those. If, uh, don't try to... Um, if it has to do with this, I think it's saying, telling you to keep yourself busy. Don't try to control the situation. It's also telling you that it's a reminder that you need to take care of your health as well. Not saying that anything big is going to happen, but you might be kind of slacking off in where your, your health is concerned, your diet and things like that. This is saying that there's a place and a time for everything with the strength card. So, uh, you know, not every, it's not a party if it happens every night is the way I would say this. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself, not drinking every night or, you know, not eating cake every day, you know, that sort of thing. You want to take care of yourself and you want to hone this pretty well. You want to make sure that you're also very detailed in your work this month. Make sure that, um, you know, especially like I was saying, you know, there could be this person here, you could have this here. So there is a sense that there might be some overindulgence, some, some behavior that's not, 
totally healthy um, or, or at least not conducive to a good job at work. So I, it's telling you that you want to keep your eye on what you're doing. Take care of your health. Know that there needs to be limits here. So you need to know when to say no to things that you really want. Uh, and then with the, the the magician, we're saying that this is kind of like a thing regarding willpower. So this month, willpower is going to be very important for you. So just keep an eye on that. Don't let somebody sweep you off your feet too much, okay? So I want to thank you for watching. If you'd like a private personal reading with me, you can get me in my Etsy shop. That's down in the description box. If you like my reading, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think is going to happen. And because um, I would love to hear about it. And uh, I, I hope to see you guys in March. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Bye now.